If you can't use gels or don't want to use gels, then do not worry. I have some gorgeous nail art you can do without using any of them. What's up, nail crew? It's Nicole, your fellow nail obsessed DIYer. In my quest to help all of you do super fun, easy nail designs without any gels, I came up with this really fun look that I showed you at the beginning. And it combines two of my favorite colors, pink and black with some gold. So the base of my nails is a very neutral colored rubber base. And if you don't have a neutral colored rubber base or you don't want to use anything as a base, you can also just do clear dip powder down first. Since I always have builder gel or rubber base on my natural nails, I only needed to do two dips of the pink powder. But if you don't and you just want your other the other part of your nail design to be your natural nail, then you can do one to two dips of clear before you start on your design. If you're somebody who likes to build an apex. The design that we're doing today is really easy because you don't have to use any tape. So it's almost like you're color blocking with, but without having to be super precise because then we're going to use the black dip powder at the edges of the pink and then cover the whole thing like on both sides with foils so that you really can't tell if your lines aren't super you know, super crisp and super even. I pretty much just took my dip base, wiped off a majority of it on the inside of the bottle before I applied it to my nail, and then went from like the one corner of my nail to the other side, um, the other edge of it. Since my nails are a short square type look that I'm going for now, I didn't worry about if my line was perfectly even or straight. I didn't worry about if my lines were like in the exact same place on all my nails because it's supposed to just be fun, easy nail art. And if you are like me and you are not a perfectionist and you just like to do stuff that you know you want to try and have fun, this one is definitely an easier one. Once I applied the dip base down on my nail, I would just pour the powder over. So pouring the powder over keeps your nail a little bit thinner. I've noticed that when I dip my nail into a jar, I tend to get thicker nails and the dip base kind of like bunches up a little bit and can cause the dip powder to, you know, get a little bit crinklier and get a bit thicker. So I almost always pour over. Every once in a while I will dip in. When I'm doing clear, I once in a while do that. But for the most part, I like to pour my dip powders over. Since you're only gonna be doing the design on part of your nail, you're not gonna have dip powder over your entire nail. To get your nail even at the end when you apply the clear dip powder over, you really wanna to try to keep your main base color as thin as possible. Once you finish with all five nails applying like that little half nail of color like we did, you wanna go with your activator and let that dry for a few minutes. What that's going to do is allow you to use a darker color. So in this case, my pink was a pink with like a gold sheen shimmer to it. And then the black that I used also had a gold sheen and shimmer to it. So I knew that if I didn't activate the pink, the pink nails would end up getting way darker because the black would just absorb right into it. So I activated just that pink section that I did. Then once it dried, then I was able to go in and start to do my little black lines. Oh, the pink is called friends tell the truth and the black is called fat guy in a little coat they are both from og dip powder then the gold foils that i'm going to use are just like a random set i bought off amazon pretty much any kind of gold silver you know any of those foils that you find they all tend to work really well because it's basically just like little foils that you can crinkle up and add to your nails for a nail art some kind of design like that so i wanted the line of black to be really thin so rather than using my dip brush which I can't really get so to apply like super in super thin little lines I know I've seen some people use it and they're like able to get it really thin I am not one of those okay I'm not one of those people I'm way too messy with my dip so I went and grabbed these little mini eyeliner applicators they're disposable I had got a huge pack off Amazon and tried them for some nail art before and they worked okay but not that great they actually worked surprisingly well for here I was able to use the same uh, disposable eyeliner brush for this whole mani and then after that the eyeshadow the eyeliner brush got hardened and I just threw it out I want to say it was only a couple dollars for like a pretty big pack so I still have a ton of them sitting there for any time I want to do nail art I have some other nail art ideas that you guys are gonna have to wait to see um, I have some fun ones planned where you're not using any gel so make sure you have your notifications on to see some more coming up I lifted up the lid of the dip bottle and then I just tapped the eyeliner brush 
onto the actual dip brush and grabbed a little bit of the dip base. And I was really had to be careful that I didn't get too much on it because the dip like just clung to the brush easily. So I had to be careful that I wasn't getting so much that it was gonna make my nails super thick. Cause it's definitely don't, what we don't want. When you're doing this, this little line here in the center, you don't want it to be super thick because on the outsides, you are going to put your foils. You can see as I'm adding the black powder onto the middle of my nail that it's not staining the pink. And that's because a little bit before, once we finished the pink, we activated it. So I was so glad that I decided to activate as I'm pouring the black over. I was like, man, good remembering, Nicole, <laughs> because sometimes I've forgotten to activate a lighter color and I'm doing some kind of design that's like, this one is basically like a color block. It's just a, I don't know, it's more of a nail art sloppy color block than a very straight color block. None of the black stained the pink. So I was really, really excited because I wanted the pink to pop out against the black, now you'll see that some of the black gets into my cuticles and I try to brush it off. If you haven't noticed in my videos, my nails are, or not my nails, my hands are always really, really dry. Like in the winter, my hands are excessively dry if I don't keep cuticle oil or lotion on them. So obviously when I'm doing my nails, they don't have any cuticle oil or lotion on them. So you get to see my extra dry hands. But you know, if you know me, you know I like to keep it real. Now if you get a little bit too much of the black color onto your nail, like it ends up being a little bit thicker than you want it to be, you can take the edge of an orange wood stick and just wipe some of that off as soon as you put it on. This way you can keep the lines a little thinner. And I did want to keep the lines thin because I knew I was going to add the foils on both sides. So once you get all your black lines down, give that a sec to dry so that when you add the dip base over it, you are not going to smear any of the black onto other parts of your nails. So I went back when I finished my pinky, I went back to my pointer finger and started working on that. I wanted to see what it looked like to apply the foils on both sides of my nail. On my thumb, I only had the foil on one side and just felt like, eh, it just wasn't looking how I wanted it to look, even though that was in my head what like my original design was gonna be when I got to that point. It just didn't feel like it looked right without the foil on both sides. So I don't know why I didn't go back right back to my thumb. I just wanted to try it on my pointer first. Now when you're using these little foils, they can be not tricky but more of just like a pain in the butt to use. I like to apply the dip base over the whole area I'm going to apply foils to. So I didn't worry about getting the dip base on the black. I applied it over that whole area so that I could take the piece of foil and then quickly place them on the sides of the black line. Now, when you're working with these foils, like I said, they are definitely a little bit of a pain in the butt because they pick up so fast. And then once they stick to your nail, sometimes they bunch up when you don't want them to, or sometimes they won't bunch up when you actually want them to. So you have to finagle them a little bit. What would have been smarter to do, but like realistically, I would never do this because it's just not me. What would be smarter is if you like to plan your mayonnaise out a little more, would be to take the piece of foil and break them apart before you're doing your nails. This way you have them all sitting there. Would I ever do that? Mm, definitely not because that's way too much planning for me. And that's not how I roll when I do my nails. It's more of like a, have an idea, haphazardly try it, throw shit together, and go with it. Uh, that's that's much more my style of doing my nails. So you can see me using this little toothpick. You definitely can use an orange wood stick, but for something like this where you constantly have to be like picking it up and then getting it to the right place in your nail and moving it a lot, it just worked a lot better to use a really small toothpick. I could have used an orange wood stick, but I just grabbed a toothpick because my toothpicks sit in the same place as my orange wood sticks. You could use an orange wood stick too. If you are a little bit less messy than me, using a wax tool that you, you know pick up, use to pick up glitters, that would work really well too it just I'm way too sloppy to use that I was getting dip base all over the wax tool and I was like mm, this is probably not a good idea I should stick with something I can get rid of 
Once you are done adding the foils to the both sides of your nail, give that like a minute or two to dry and then press them down before you apply clear dip powder on your nails. So the clear is the very last step that you wanna do and I kept pouring over, over, over to make sure that the foils would be totally encapsulated before I went and I applied activator because I didn't want my foils to bleed. I didn't want the black to bleed. I wanted everything to stay put exactly where it was on my nails so that I wouldn't get any kind of bleeding onto the side that didn't have any color, even onto the pink side, like at the very end. If you're watching and you're like, Nicole, I just need help with basic dipping. I'm not ready for designs yet. Make sure you check out the first pin comment. It has a link to my Dip Nails 101. It is the ultimate guide for dipping your nails at home from prep to application to removal, over 45 pages of everything you can need to help you dip your nails at home. Now we're going to go through and I'm gonna show you how I top coat my nails. So once the activator hardens all your nails it'll make a tapping sound when you tap on your nail then you know it's hard enough to file and buff and shape and then you'll want to wipe off your nails with some isopropyl alcohol on a lint-free wipe a paper towel or a nail brush to make sure that you got all the filing and shaping dust off then you can go in with your top coating and the top coating is different for every company that you're using so the dip liquids that I'm using are from OG dip powder and the way that you do the top coating for these is you do it one hand at a time heavy act Activator on five nails. I typically go thumb to pinky and then when I get to my pinky I count to ten, go back to my thumb and do the first layer of top coat in two to three quick even strokes and I cap my edges. I never know how long I'm gonna wear my manis so if you like to wear your manis for more than a few days definitely cap your edges. I float both layers of top coat no matter what brand I'm using. I found that it helps my dip top coat not to contaminate and get hard so float is key for me. And if you'd like to learn more easy dip nails, check out this next video. Thanks for joining me today, Nail Crew.